Hi, everyone. My name is Philippe Tifo. I'm the cell director at Voip.ms. And uh, today I'm with uh, Eric Hernandez and Augusto uh, Jose Quintanilla. Uh, Quintanilla. <laughs> Augusto Jose Quintanilla. Um, I'm honored and privileged to introduce you uh, to them today. Um, they have they play a, a pivot roles uh, within the realms of technology and uh, customer experience. Uh, so, um, in the forthcoming session, the point of discussion will be steered at the expertise of Eric and Augusto as they guide us through the exploration and of the landscape that constitute teammate. And then we will discuss how to integrate VoIP MS services in Microsoft Team using Teammate to achieve it. Finally, I will share a use case story uh, of a large integration completed with these components. So Eric, Augusto, the mic is all yours. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Phil. Uh, and uh, hello to everyone. I appreciate you taking the time to join us today. Uh, so as as Phil mentioned, uh, we're going to uh, start with a brief presentation uh, just uh, about, about uh, Teammate. Uh, I'll get that going in a second uh, and then move on to uh, a case study that we've worked on uh, with VoIP MS. So let me uh, share my screen. This is an introduction to the Teammate Technology PBX Connector. And uh, the PBX Connector is our product that allows you to use Microsoft Teams as a soft phone connected to your PBX, in this case, the VoIP MS PBX. Uh, first, a little bit about Teammate. The company was founded in 2019. I'm one of the co-founders along with uh, Micah Singer. And the idea uh, in 2019, Teams had just started gaining some traction with their collaboration uh, product. And the idea, and specifically, they, they, they opened it up. Uh, they allowed you to connect external VoIP systems to Microsoft Teams. And so uh, we said to ourselves, huh, that's that's pretty interesting. You know, what if we could connect that to a PBX? At the time, I, I was with another company that had a UCAS product. And, uh, you know, I was pretty enthused about being able to use Microsoft Teams as a soft phone. Uh, so we created our, our flagship product, which is called the Teammate PBX Connector, specifically for that purpose, which is, you know, the use case is, you're using a, a, a UCAS or, or hosted VoIP product, a hosted PBX, uh, and you want to be able to use Microsoft Teams as your soft phone. So that was the problem we set out to solve, and, and uh, we got there. We launched the, the first GA version of our product in uh, 2020, and, and here we are a few years later with nearly 100,000 customers, end users, that is. Uh, so uh, we're a software company, and that means our core competence is really building software that integrates with Microsoft Teams. And so that's, you know, uh, you can do what we do through uh, various different APIs that Microsoft makes possible, but it's pretty complex. And so what we try and do is, is we try to use our experience to build software that makes it less complex. Uh, our target market for our product is Teams users, obviously, who don't want to use Teams as their only method of, of telephony. That is, you know, Teams users who also want to keep using their existing PBX or UCAS platform. Uh, so we're, and uh, an important point is that we're channel only. So we do not sell directly to end users. I know many of you out there may be uh, enterprises who are interested in using this. We'll sell to you through partners such as VoIP MS and others that I'll introduce you to. You know, as a technology platform, it's very important that we work with very many, uh, the widest possible range of, of uh, UCAS and hosted PBX platforms. These are just some of our, our the current platforms that are supported. Of course, VoIPMS is front and center. Okay, uh, so so on to the meat of the of the presentation. Why are we here? Why you know why is there so much interest in Teams? Well, really, the the reason is because Microsoft has been very successful. This is an old slide. This is as of the end of 2022. Actually, the number is up to almost 320 million, I believe, as of last month. Monthly active users. That means that there are you know over 300 million monthly active users as Teams. That's a huge audience. What makes it interesting, though is that 50 million of those users have the phone system capability. And I'll get to that in a second, but basically what that means is that they have the licensing necessary for Microsoft to use the Teams client as a soft phone. So that 50 million user base is 
really, you know, if you're a if you're a service provider, if you're an MSP that's out there selling voice services to end users, uh, you know, those 50 million consumers are your potential customers because they can use Teams as a soft phone connected to your PBX services. And of course, if you're one of the 50 million individuals out there that are using Teams already and have these licenses, what that means is that you can go out there and, and with Teammate, you can combine and integrate your Teams experience with the hosted PBX or UCAS provider of your choice. So, you know, why does that even matter? What what makes Teams such a great soft phone? I mean, there's dozens or hundreds of soft phones out there, right? That's true, but Teams has done a really great job at solving some problems that afflict other soft phones. So first, uh, you know, it's just a short list, but first, uh, because it's so ubiquitous, uh, there are so many users, everybody has it. Uh, if you've ever tried to deploy a soft phone to, you know, a company of even, you know, 50 people, it can be a challenge to get everybody to download and, and install and have the right uh, permissions to run a, a new piece of software. Well, that goes away with Teams because because it's part of Microsoft, of course, it's it's it comes with most uh, machines these days. It's very easy to install. It's ubiquitous. So uh, that problem goes away. Next, it's reachable by direct routing. And, and what that really means, and I mentioned it before, is that it's open to be interconnected with third party systems such as VoIP MS. That's very important because, you know, uh, they support that integration. Microsoft does. Meaning that uh, if there's a problem, you know, Microsoft is willing to support their part of it. And of course, with a partner such as Teammate and VoIP MS, uh, you, you'll be able to make sure that things are working the way they're supposed to be. Uh, of course, uh, moving on to the next point, Teams is interesting because it's tightly integrated with Office 365. So that means all of the applications that you currently use if you're a Microsoft user, uh, you know, are already integrated. And because it's open, there are hundreds, if not thousands of other integrations, that is other application providers that have integrated their own applications into Microsoft Teams, uh, which just makes it uh, more useful, of course. Lastly, though, and this is a, a kind of a technical thing that has to do with soft phones, they really solve a lot of problems that, that you encounter when you try and uh, use a soft phone over the internet. So first, uh, the codec they chose. Uh, they created an AI powered codec called Satin that is great for quality of service. So that means, you know, even in situations where the internet is, is you know, your internet connection is not great, there's packet loss or latency or jitter, uh, this Satin codec fixes a lot of those problems and you get good voice quality. It has built in noise suppression. Uh, if any of you are using, you know, fancy uh, phones on your desk, uh, that costs hundreds of dollars, chances are that phone has built in noise suppression, which is a, a pretty high end feature on a phone uh, that comes with, in, with Teams, which is very nice. Uh, it's supported by all platforms, which means it'll run on Mac, of course, or uh, any other uh, many other flavors of operating systems. But then the last point is, is probably the most important because with so many people working away from the office and being mobile, you know, being able to have a soft phone client that runs on your mobile phone is, is more important than ever. And Microsoft has solved a lot of the problems that come with, a, with trying to deploy soft phones on a mobile phone. The end result, you know, which, which really just means a better end customer experience is that you can take and receive phone calls from your, from your, you know, from your work phone number, from your uh, UCAS or PBX installation on your mobile phone and, and it actually works. So, so that what, that's what makes Teammate a great soft phone or Teams rather a great soft phone. Now, uh, I, and I, you know, I don't want this to get too technical, but I'll touch on this because it's important. If you wanna use Teams as your soft phone, there's really three ways to do it. Uh, and we've taken the, the, the last approach here, which is to register Teams as a, as a SIP extension, but there's two other ways to do it. One is cross launch. And what that means is from inside Teams, you can launch an outside soft phone, which is running on your on your laptop or PC, you know, and then although you've started the call from inside Teams, which means, you know, uh, it's kind of integrated with Teams, when you're actually talking on it, you're not using the Teams voice infrastructure. And, and so, you know, it, it works, it, it's just not great. Uh, another way that you can integrate Teams with your uh, phone system is by something called twinning uh, or forking as it's sometimes called. And what that really means is that you can just send when the call reaches your PBX, 
you can send it off the PBX as a SIP trunk to Microsoft Teams. Uh, and that way works because you're still talking on the phone, but you lose a lot of the features from the from your PBX as a result. Really, the only way to get the full feature of your PBX and combine it with all of the collaboration features in Teams is by being able to register Teams at the soft phone on your PBX. And, and so that's the that's the uh, that's the method that Teammate has employed. Uh, and so we we do that through our PBX connector, and uh, as I mentioned. It converts Teams from a from a standalone collaboration entity into a fully featured soft phone that's registered to your phone system. In this case, of course, VoIP MS. One of the things we've done is we've really automated the provisioning process. As I mentioned before, if you wanted to use Teams as an extension of your phone system, there are ways to do it, but it's it's pretty complex. We've tried to boil that down to just a few button clicks so that it's easy to administer and manage. And that means a couple different things. It means uh, building the direct route, which is Microsoft's term for the SIP trunk that it connects to, to the phone system, to all the user management things. So every time you add a user or or you want to, let's say somebody leaves your business and you want to delete the user, uh, you know, we, we've tried to make the management of those processes uh, pretty seamless because it's part of the Microsoft ecosystem and, and we want to bring the, the full scale of, interoperability and collaboration to that, we've integrated our connector with Microsoft tools. So that means when you, uh, just a couple examples, for example, uh, when you make a call, you're able to save that person that you're talking to as a contact to your, to your Outlook. Also, uh, after a call, if you wanted to schedule a meeting, there's a button in our connector app that lets you schedule a meeting that automatically puts that in Outlook as well. And of course, the, the integration with our PBX partners means that things like creating devices and opening up the user portal all within Teams are fully supported. Now, uh, I, I mentioned the PBX connector is our primary product, and that is meant for the specific use case where you want to use Teams as a registered endpoint on your PBX. But not everybody wants to do that. Sometimes you wanna use Microsoft as your phone system. And uh, you know th they've had a lot of success uh, convincing people to use Microsoft as a phone system. I, I won't get into the debate about whether that's a good idea or not, but if, if you wanna do that, we also have something called the SIP trunk connector that allows you to connect just the PSTN connectivity. So that's just the phone number so you can make calls into and out of Teams. But then you're using Teams for all the features. So uh, things like auto attendance and, and other PBX type features would be provided by Teams. Uh, so this is, this is a, a, another fully supported product of ours and just something for you to keep in mind. So uh, now uh, onto how we work with VoIP MS. So as I mentioned before, uh, uh, we don't sell directly to businesses. We sell through partner networks. So if you are, if you happen to be an enterprise or a business user out there and you're interested in the Teammate PBX connector, uh, there's uh, we've created a special way for you to sign up. And that's through the Microsoft App Store Store. And, and I'll share uh, a few more details on that in a minute. But basically you can go to Microsoft, sign up directly on Microsoft using your existing Microsoft subscription uh, and be connected to your VoIP MS uh, account. If you're a reseller though, uh, that is an MSP or another sort of service provider that wants to take the Teams connector and uh, offer it to your clients, uh, then you'll either work directly with us or through a partner. In either case, whether you're an enterprise or a reseller, support for this integration with VoIP MS is available directly from the VoIP MS team. Through our partnership, uh, you'll be able to get access to the experts at VoIP MS so that uh, when you encounter problems, you know they're fully supported. One of the downsides of using Microsoft as your phone system is that it's sometimes difficult uh, to get support from Microsoft. That's definitely not the case between Teammate, uh, VoIP MS, uh, and uh, our uh, other partner, Big Cloud Consultants. Um, you'll be able to get the experts that you need to make sure that this integration works. Okay, uh, so uh, if you're interested and, and you'd like a trial account, the best way to get started is to go to the Teammate Technology website. Uh, and uh, if you go to the website slash VoIP MS, uh, you'll see a, a page dedicated to VoIP MS where you'll be able to access links that will either take you to the App Store store. And, and this is just a screenshot of uh, the App Store store showing the teammate connector for VoIP MS that's in App Source. Uh, there's also other links on our site 
uh, if you're so and and again, this is if you're a business user, an enterprise that wants to try it out for your own uh, internal purposes. If you're an MSP or a service provider that wants to resell this uh, to your own clients, then there's another link uh, on the web, on the website that lets you start a free trial for that. So, uh, Phil, I don't know if you want to do questions now or or take them later, but uh, that is the end of the formal presentation. Phil, I noticed that someone wrote in Spanish. Do you mind if I take 10 seconds to say hello to them in Spanish and let them know that we are bilingual? Sure, <laughs> Trilingual, go ahead. actually. I'm sorry. You speak French. My bad. Uh, Sergio, buenos días. Sergio Negro, eh, veo aquí que estás de Nubecol. Bueno, solo para dejarte saber que también tenemos recursos en español en la compañía y obviamente trabajamos muy cerca con VoIP MS y cualquier cosa que necesites a tus órdenes por acá. Ok, so I've, uh, I've addressed one of the folks who wrote something in Spanish on the chat, so please thanks, proceed. Thanks, Augusto. It's very appreciated. And uh, same thing as uh, VoIP MS, uh, we also support uh, Spanish uh, speaking. Uh, customers so feel free uh, to ask questions in spanish uh, maybe uh, augusto will need to translate that for me if there's some <laughs> for my best but uh, or support uh, and staff uh, uh, speak uh, spanish french and english too so um <clears throat> and we have one question here uh, is there documentation uh, that uh, we can review after the presentation is completed um, I believe there's uh, some documentation that you have on your website, Eric. Uh, yeah, yeah, certainly. So, uh, so again, if if you go to the um, uh, there's a, there's a, we have plenty of documentation. Uh, our website is the best place to start, uh, and if you submit a support request through our website, you know we'll we'll point you uh, directly in uh, you know to the right resource to get your question answered. Uh, I know there's also, and, and I apologize, I didn't put that in my presentation. There's also a, a page on the VoIPMS wiki that talks about the integration and how it works specifically with, with VoIPMS. Perfect. Uh, another question from Eric, uh, not you. <laughs> uh, if we have a PBX connected to VoIPMS, would we be able to purchase through VoIPMS or we would need to go through or PBX vendor? So uh, there's it would be team made for sip trunk and not team made for pbx uh, if, I, if i yes so so if, if voip ms is not your pbx vendor uh, we we would we would be happy to support you uh, you would not be buying through voip ms at that point we would direct you either if you're a, if you are a service provider um you know uh, you, uh, we can do business directly with you or we can find a distributor uh, that can work with you uh, again the easiest way to get started is just to give us your your details through our our the form on our website and and we'll definitely but we also the uh, provide but we also provide only zip trunk i don't know if we uh, have completed the the uh, interoperability with uh, only zip trunk from voip ms or or just or with or pbx but uh maybe it would be also a possibility to use voip they could buy a teammate from us or partners and use VoIP MS SIP trunk in their PBX uh, uh, as well. I oh, think. yeah, yeah, yes, of course. If you're using a VoIP MS SIP trunk, uh, then certainly, then uh, you would buy that through uh, through our collaboration with VoIP MS. I'm sorry yeah. if I misunderstood that question. No problem. Stefan is asking, how about the country's availabilities? So, of course, Canada and United States, it's pretty much covered. Uh, is any any restriction in terms of countries? Uh, so from the teammate side, there, uh, there is no restriction in the sense that we have uh, we have uh, installations around the world. We're in we're in every uh, Azure region. Uh, we we offer our services through Microsoft Azure, of course, and so we're in every Azure region where where we're requested to be. Um, the real question is who's going to provide the phone numbers, right? Because the local phone numbers, and so of course through VoIP MS, you can get phone numbers in the U.S. and Canada. Uh, we don't sell. Uh, PSN connectivity directly. We do that through partners. So if you're we outside do. of the US or Canada, uh, you'd have to find a, a, a SIP trunk provider, of course, that can give you phone numbers in those locations. We do uh, sell phone numbers in more than 60 and I would say even 75 countries. So uh, if they can purchase uh, the IDs, international DIDs, they can they definitely can go through us and use uh, teammates wherever Azure is available so, so far. For sure. Good. Mexico? 
we do provide uh, Mexico uh, DID. So teammate is available in Mexico, right? Yes, yes. Uh, we, again, uh, if if Azure is is uh, operating in your country, uh, then uh, we are there also. Perfect. Another question from uh, Eric: Does Connector allow SMS integration? It's funny because we were just discussing it before. <laughs> So, so, so today, uh, our our uh, interop and testing has only really covered the PBX connector. Uh, although we were just discussing uh, that we're in the process of integrating the uh, SMS API from VoIP MS, so that will be available in the near future. Good, Sergio is asking uh, the price of the connector is per user or mensual uh, subscription. Uh, uh, it, it's it's a monthly subscription uh, per user. Yes, that's correct. Uh, and uh, the pricing is is four dollars and fifty cents uh, from App Source directly. Uh, if you're a partner that wants to uh, resell, uh, we have volume discounts, and please just get in touch with us. Uh, Augusto, uh, who's available by email at sales at teammatetechnology.com, would be happy to answer any pricing questions. Uh, you know, beyond the the direct to user pricing from App Source. Right. We have another question from François. Uh, François uh, is asking, hi, uh, using Teammate and VoIP.ms, will all the feature of VoIP.ms, like call schedule, uh, ring group, I, I believe, uh, or anything that or uh, hosted PPX uh, uh, is offered, will be still available? So it, the answer is absolutely. That That's the beauty of our integration. You get to use Teams as a soft phone, but all of the features of your existing VoIP.ms call control are there and available as well. So, uh, you know, the, the way to think about it is if it works with any other soft phone, uh, you know, wh whatever soft phone you happen to mm -hmm. be uh, to be partial to, it will also work with teammate and teams. So all the call strategy that you put in place uh, with VoIP MS will be reflected in your uh, Microsoft team infrastructures. Certainly. Great. A little bit uh, of uh, the agenda of my little presentation. It's really going to be short and sweet about VoIPMS, why us, or certified partner, a little bit about our security feature, uh, or cloud uh, fee cloud hosted feature, and the SIP trunking and the API, or financial model and financial feature, or team and support. And I will end by the use cases that we have completed with Teammate recently. About VoIPMS, who is VoIPMS for the one who doesn't know us? VoIPMS is a Montreal-based voiceover IP company. We were founded in 2007. So here today, it's our 15th uh, anniversary year. We provide a vast range of telephony features. So all the hosted PBX phone feature that you can imagine, or almost everything that you can imagine, we are supporting it, uh, as well as SIP trunking. We offer the IDs uh, in more than uh, 1,500 rate centers across North America and in more than 60 countries, around 75 or 80 now uh, of Chile. International call or termination to 125 countries, toll free, uh, numbers, call conference, SMS, MMS, and, and much more. Why us? Because we are fully hosted, feature rich, bring your own solution, like teammate, Microsoft team, and pay as you go. Or certified partner is just a little, little bit of uh, the, uh, the example of all the partners that we have established, the partnership that we have established uh, uh, during the previous couple of years. VoIPMS is an ecosystem of technology alliance partners. We want to make sure that VoIPMS can be used with the device and the solution of your choice from SBCs to direct endpoint to even like Algo I see there, uh, which is a paging solution. Uh, or even adaptive network, which, which is a SD1 solution. We try to make sure that you can choose the solution of your choice and it will be certified not either, not, not only by VoIPMS, but also by the partner, like we did with Teammate. We have uh, fully tested the solution uh, on both sides and we make sure that the solution is solid. A little bit about the security features. It's basic stuff, um, but it's worth to notice. We offer two-step verification, email notification uh, for pretty much everything that can change in your account. You will receive a notification. We offer uh, max calling time. We'll restrict if you have 
let's say you have some user have to have that tendency to call to expensive destination um it, you can restrict the the maximum calling time we also offer the call encryption uh tls uh, sip tls uh, nsrtp uh, for an ip guard so we can prevent some country uh, from specific country to access your account and on the other end we also have a allow calling area so you can restrict any user any people that use your account to call to specific country which some destination can be very expensive to call to i was talking a little bit about the hosted feature earlier this is just a glance of what's available but it's all the hosted pbx feature that we are offering so idr calling queue voicemail to email um the sequence um, the call recording the call forwarding ring group if you Combine all these features together, you can create a complex phone system um, and it, it it can be built the way you want it. Feel free to play around. We have a ton of documentation for explaining how all these features works. And uh, with all these features, you can create the, the perfect phone system for your business. It's really your imagination that will stop you from doing whatever you want to. And moreover, with... Microsoft team on top of that. I was mentioning earlier that we offer SIP trunking also, direct SIP trunking. So if you have your own PBX, you can directly use uh, your, your PBX with us, connect uh, or SIP trunk to your PBX. And we have server in more than um, more than 50 location from Canada to uh, United States, East, West, uh, East Coast, West Coast, uh, in France, United Kingdom, uh, Amsterdam and to also in Australia in Sydney. We also have a complete API, that's an open API that you can play with, that you can use to create a lot of stuff. We have more than 300 and 300 function and more than that. So you can uh, use it to buy uh, the ID, you can use it to uh, start your porting, uh, you can use it to connect endpoint, you can use it to uh, send, receive SMS. We have used the API to populate the account uh, within VoIP MS. Uh, I'll, I'll explain it a little bit later when we did build the Logia account to make sure that we have all the user built in the account without having to do it one by one. So uh, the API can help you do that. Uh, it's uh, really helpful. There's uh, a lot of documentation about our API. Feel free to have a look. Financial features and the business model. So VoIPMS, it's prepaid and pay as you go. So there's no commitment. We are fully contractless. You only pay for what you use. The only monthly charge that you might have will be the DIDs, the 911, maybe the virtual PRI if you want to buy a virtual PRI. That's pretty much it in terms of monthly subscription with VoIP.MS. All the other charges will come from your usage. The portal is completely self-serve. So you probably can do 99% of what you want to do without having to ask or support or ask or staff to change anything in your account. Pretty much all the, the portal is self-serve. We also uh, have a smart and secure auto replenishments. It will add money to your account from your Visa, your MasterCard or PayPal account automatically every 24 hours so you may to make sure that you're not running out of funds for no reason. Finally, we also offer free porting in Canada and United States. We offer local DID and toll-free DID in Canada and US totally for free uh, for the porting. If you want to port international DIDs, in this case, uh, you will have to contact us to make sure that we offer the portability maybe we will be able to port your phone number from various other countries than Canada and the United States. A little bit about our support team. Um, I don't know why every time I laugh, but I really like this picture. It's just a little part of a VoIP MS team. It's, uh, it's uh, uh, one of the party that we uh, had uh, last year at the Posada uh, or Christmas party in Mexico. So I'm the little guy in the middle. <laughs> Um, it's a very nice team. Uh, I really enjoy to work there. I really like to show this picture. That's a great picture. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Speaking of the team, we have a brilliant team of more than 50 employees with a average seniority of like uh, six to seven years. 
uh, working for VoIP.ms. So uh, we know our platform, we know VoIP services, we are specialized in VoIP specifically. Feel free to reach out to us whenever you have a problem. VoIPMS offer 24-7 technical support in chat, ticket, and email. And we are support uh, geared to support you in French, in English, and Spanish. Not me in Spanish, but my 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 team is, is definitely can help you in Spanish if needed. And I can help you in French. <laughs> so it's a win-win situation. We offer a complete knowledge base, FAQ, video tutorial. We also have a Facebook community group, the wiki. You will find a lot of information either uh, on VoIPMS specifically uh, or about our technology alliance partners like teammate. We have a uh, wiki pages explaining you how to do the connection between VoIPMS and teammate. We uh, don't have a tutorial about it on YouTube. Maybe uh, at some point we, we could maybe do something uh, like this, but uh, we have other, a lot of other tutorial on YouTube. Quick link, uh, you will have access to it when uh, I will send the documentation to, to, to everybody that attend the webinar today. So you will have all the links, the important links that you need. And then the use case, good stuff. So I, I wanted to share a use case with you on how we did integrate teammate, uh, Microsoft team uh, through teammate um, for Logia. So Logia, it's a um, software engineer company uh, with a workforce of more than 370, like 400 something uh, across multiple location in 10 countries. They leverage a uh, large, they, they, they have a very large presence and, and expertise everywhere in the world. And of course, they need communication. They need phone service as any big businesses. And recently, the challenge was that Logien, within the past two years, did multiple acquisition of other software development or software engineering companies and did consolidate it under the brand of Logia. All these company had different phone system. Uh, very, some had direct cell phone, some had a uh, direct IP phone on their desk, some had had like POTS line. It, all that needed to, to be consolidated into one phone system. And they have choose VoIPMS as their VoIP provider, but the need was to implement that to Microsoft team. So Microsoft team was, uh, a teammate was recommended to Logia to complete that integration. Basically, we had, we did the, the consolidation of three big phone system to one phone system within VoIP.ms. We did the centralization of all that. So there was three different brand all we scrapped all the IVRs of all the brands. We brought that back to 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 void.ms in one di digital receptionist. We rethink how the phone structure will be will be done. So we took the time with Lejean to uh, to understand how their department uh, are structured, how who answer what, and it seems very usual for people in VoIP, but for a company that is not working in phone system every day, we, we need to understand their operation reality to make it fit to their phone system. It that Your phone system with a large company like this, it's an extension of your image. It's an extension of your customer relation. So it's very important for them. It, it was very important for them to have a consolidated um, way to speak to their customer and make sure that the 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 switch from three to five different company to one big company doesn't hurt the 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 business. Um, we kept all their existing phone number, uh, bring that all in VoIPMS, and all that was uh, consolidated in one instances of uh, VoIPMS. We choose teammate to do that it was very quick and easy. I think it took us about two weeks. Uh, from starting the consultation with Legia to complete the project and do all the uh, 
phone system integration, um, all develop all the features, make sure that everything is working fine. It was not an easy project, but something for us that not something difficult for us. So the main result for this all this move, the centralization, of course, being able to get rid of all their old devices because all the phone that they were using on their desk are useless now. <laughs> I think they, they were using uh, old Cisco SPA uh, or something. I don't remember the, the brand, but it was just uh, taking dust anyway. They, they had to, they were able to remove all this equipment and the mobility uh, of this. Now, it was already the case. They, they are an international company. They have user working in Thailand and in Algeria and in the Philippines and in, in Amsterdam and in Argentina and like everywhere in the world. So it was already a necessity for ha for them to be mo extremely mobile. This ended as a good result to to be mobile. We did a customized uh, voice directory. Uh, we we did the prompt. We did the, all the the voices for them. Uh, the compliance. Of course, uh, for them, it was very important because uh, here in Canada, we have in Quebec specifically, we have uh, the law 25 and the law 25 is affecting <laughs> uh, tech businesses. They are a tech business. So it was very important for them to have a provider that is compliant with these laws. And the best of all, uh, they had more than 50%. Of, of overall phone cost reduction. All the POTS line they were using, all the PBX uh, hosted solution they had here and there, the server. When you scrap all that and you centralize everything to one, the cost reduction is amazing. Operation wise, it was a success and financially wise, it was an, another success. This is a quote from uh, Mathieu Abbott, the VP exploitation from uh, Logia. And um, they don't talk about teammate because they don't really know that teammates is really uh, the the main player uh, in the game here. But without teammate, um, this wouldn't wouldn't be possible. Uh, having Mathieu uh, speaking about this project in this fashion, in this way, uh, it wouldn't be possible to uh, to achieve that. I'm very uh, happy uh, of the outcome, and uh, it was a, a really good project. That, that's an important point, and, and thanks for mentioning that. Uh, we are fully white labelable, uh, so if you're a MSP or a service provider that uh, is interested in providing this to your customers, uh, they don't need to know about Teammate. You know, everything they see will be branded uh, either generically or or with your brand. So uh, that's a that's a big part of the value we provide. Yeah, exactly. And they knew at some point that it was teammate because we had uh, we we did not hide teammate in in the back end uh, so much. We 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 mentioned to their IT guys and it was brought to the conversation, but it was not the point here. Uh, but we know on our end that we couldn't achieve that uh, alone. Specifically about integrating team, uh, VoIPMS is not a direct routing operator. So we absolutely need to have a, a partner like teammate to uh, to do this job. And and yeah, that speaks uh, a lot. Just a little promotion here. If you use it, the promo code teammate when you sign up at VoIP.ms, you will get a $10 bonus on your first deposit. And if I'm not mistaken, you also have a month free of a teammate trial. That's correct. When you use the, the app source with all that, uh, you, you could try the the mix of teammate in Microsoft team for a minimum deposit of $15 in which it will get you a total of $25, $25 credit in your VoIPMS account with $25. You could test the service for at least a month, if not two. So um, enjoy. And that's pretty much it. Earlier, uh, Bali was asking in the chat that, can I have your email? You have it there. So feel free, send me an email directly. If uh, there's anything, I can put you in contact with our account manager. I'm also taking care of customer myself. And uh, yeah, feel free to uh, contact me if there's any question uh, about the service of VoIP.ms. Speaking of question, François, je vais vous contacter avec plaisir. 
Merci d'être présent aujourd'hui. We are VoIP Mass Reseller in Latin America and we are very satisfied with the XO. Okay. <laughs> That was not a, a question, but I'll take it. Uh, Craig is asking, how did you do the voice directory? Yeah, it was a manual process. Uh, it's we we did the the voice directory through through a manual process. But I think the custom manual, the custom voice directory uh, that we uh, I was referring to is more like a new voice prompt, like completely a voice prompt. Like like we scrapped all the recording that was in place and we we did record new ones for the customers any other questions phil i saw one here and let me just read it out and uh i guess eric will answer it but it says do we need a microsoft 365 phone license like e5 or phone system to be able to use teammate so that, that's that's a great question uh, so um the, there's there's two answers to that for our For our PBX connector, uh, you do need the phone system license. That is the license that allows you to access direct routing in Microsoft Teams. And, and so if you have one of the five level licenses, E5, G5, or, or A5, uh, then that's included. If you have any other license, then you do need to buy the add-on phone system license. However, uh, we do have a new uh, calling app uh, that allows you to bypass that Microsoft license. And so uh, it's, this is a, a newer feature for us, uh, we, which we launched in February. So uh, if, if that's of interest to you, uh, please contact us and we'll, we'll let you know how to configure it. Uh, that is not available from the AppSource store. So if you, if you buy through AppSource, there will have to be some additional configuration made uh, afterwards, uh, but we're happy to assist. Great. Thanks, Augusto. We have uh, another question here from Andre. I'm not sure if... Uh... If I should put you on the spot like this, but I think uh, it's worth to maybe discuss it. They are using call to team. Why we would why we will switch to teammate? What would be the the? Well, uh, so so call to teams is our competitor uh, out there and uh, a very good company, but we're better, uh, frankly. Um, uh, and this is, you know, this is. Purely a, a situation of circumstance, but uh, as you may know, Call the Teams was bought by a much bigger uh, conglomerate uh, recently, and so uh, you know this is just a small part of their business that uh, you know, frankly, uh, you know, is is not the most important part of their business. Uh, so uh, if you work with us, the, uh, Teams integration is all we do. So you have a, a team of of experts in Microsoft, and our only goal is to make sure that your integration works correctly uh, and we do a great job of it we're happy to provide you with references yeah and uh support and and, uh... and I, i i believe that that uh that uh, voip ms did evaluate call the teams and, and chose teammates so that means something too we we had a uh, it's difficult for me to say why one or the other as a sales uh director because i'm not on the technical side of the of the relation when we do interoperability however uh i can i can tell that uh, yeah the support with teammate um was better and the relationship uh, it was also better so uh, ultimately all that counts So uh, yeah, it, it, technically speaking, um, for me, I, I I was under the impression that it does both pretty much the same job, but when something doesn't work and one is ready to help you and not the other, uh, that says a lot, of course. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, we do support. It, it, go to team but we honestly we don't have a, a stellar relationship with with them at the moment uh, you you can think about it uh, in the same way as you know uh, you know why would you not want to buy your phone service directly from microsoft all right uh, just chances are unless you're a a you know 25,000 person organization uh, you're not going to get the attention uh, directly from microsoft uh, and so it's it's similar uh, that's the reason why you'd want to go with teammate Well, I'm going to interrupt both of you here because there's a gentleman named Craig Zimmerman, which I want to say thank you to. And this is what he said. We resell both and 99% of the clients use Teammate instead of call to Teams. Support at Teammate is very on top of things. 
Uh, thank you, Craig. Craig is, is one of our <laughs> distributors from Big Cloud Consultants. Uh, and so uh, we appreciate your support, Craig. And uh, and uh, if you come to us, uh, there's, a, a, you know, a, a, again, we have we have some financial commitments, but uh, uh, Big Cloud Consultants is one of our distributors that we may refer you to if if uh, uh, if we don't work with you directly. OK, looks like we've uh, we've we gone through all the questions. Yep. So I think uh, this will end uh, this today's presentation. It was a very, um, very appreciated time with you guys. I think uh, you brought a lot of uh, attention to uh, Teammate and uh, Microsoft Team Phone Services. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, we appreciate the opportunity. It's been great it's, to spend this hour with you. It was all my pleasure. I look forward for. Uh, for your opportunity to work with you, Eric and Augusto. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Muchas have a nice gracias day. a todos. Have a, great, have a great day. Thank you. Buen día.